What's up guys, Black Hat Brothers here. We have a big announcement for you today. Someone has solved our riddle. The last video we put out will be on the screen somewhere. If you haven't watched that one, go back and watch that one first because this is a follow up to that video. For the announcement of our winner. So the winner was the messenger, so, something like that. There's a Y in there where there's not. It's messenger spelled with a Y. Good job to you. I was honestly impressed with how fast he solved the riddle. Like within about 24 hours of him actually trying, he had done it and that is hard. <laughs> um, we had some other people that got pretty far as well. One person that got actually really, really, really close. But ultimately, only one person made it all the way through. So now we're gonna dive into the rest of the video, which we're gonna go through step by step and explain all the different crazy clues and stuff that we made him solve. All right, so the first clue, we've got Ben walking around the house, lots of random stuff's going on. He's kind of explaining the video. Uh, there's lots of different Easter eggs in this. Uh, some of them are, are clues to later videos. Uh, most of them are just kind of references or just kind of little inside jokes that we threw in there. Uh, so you'll probably notice a fair amount of those and we'll refer back to them just kind of as we get to them. Uh, along the riddle. The uh, first clue is kind of hidden in plain sight with this one. The URL was just literally in the video. Uh, there was a little thing that said like, the URL will look like this. And if you just, you had to type that in on your web browser uh, and that took you to. Uh... If you go through and solve the entire riddle, it's a really good idea to go back and watch through this first one because you'll be able to easily see all the little Easter eggs and things that we did. So that's what we were going for to kind of tie it back around. Uh, anyway, on to step two. Step two, if you've watched it already, which I hope you have, is really fast. It's basically just us sitting pretty much right here and then we're like, see you in step three. Um, the secret is you basically just have to be patient. Uh, we'll go to our end screen. We throw up like a fake YouTube end screen. And then at the last second, there will be a box right here in the bottom left of the screen. And you just gotta click on that and that's the next one. So an another really simple one just to kind of get you into the riddle. So step three, uh, it just shows up and it looks like just gibberish characters, but I believe it's in the top left corner of the video that there's some grayed out letters that are kind of hard to see unless you kind of reflect the screen right that tells you A equals N, B equals O. Yeah, it's like a cipher. Yeah, it's, it's a cipher to where each letter is switched out for one 13 letters later. If you solve that, it says look at the longest comment chain in Blader Wars 1 video. Uh, follow that, it's just one of the comments and there's something like 40 replies all of which are just been on the Black Cat Brothers account saying random stuff. Uh, he says beans about 47 times. And then at the very end, there's a link for the next one. All right, number four is super simple. Um, there's gonna be a couple more clues that are kind of similar to this, but it basically gives a long list of a bunch of different Bible verses and it says which Bible verse is at the end of most of our videos. The correct answer is Romans 6.23 and if you go to the link that's right next to that, that takes you to the next one. So all those other links that aren't the actual right one are just dead end videos that we made that basically just say, sorry, this is the wrong link, try something else. Um, but if you want to, I would recommend going back and clicking through all those. All right, so now we're on to clue five. Yes, clue indeed. five, and this one actually is a little bit harder. I know uh, at least one person got stuck on this just because you kind of had to expand your horizons a little bit. The clue, uh, all it said in the video is you should learn more about Black Hat Beats. And then there was about three minutes of just collages from songs for Black Hat Beats, right? Which you should go listen to and if you have already. Get yeah. notifications, hard plug, ring that bell, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, you had to go actually to the Black Hat Beats. Uh, channel and then go to the about section at the very bottom where uh, along with like the Twitter and Facebook stuff where that normally is there was just a link to uh, clue uh, six clue it just says clue six mm -hmm. um, but yeah that one's tricky because you're kind of this whole time looking for links and stuff and you just have to think out of the box so I know a couple people got stuck on this one and there you go now you should be on to clue six we'll see you talk about that one in a minute so Number six is a really tricky one. It's probably one of the more time consuming ones unless you like watch all of our videos like seven times, you probably had to go back and watch them more for this. So it's basically a big math problem um, and it requires you to know a bunch of weird trivia. So it's um, the amount of Frisbee's Caleb Cotton Frisbee edition is 11. The amount of bottle flips Luke flipped in bottle flip edition um, is seven. The two dice added together are actually from the first video. If you add them together, it was a two and a three, so you get five. The attempt number it's asking for um, is from our blindfolded trick shots video on the blind tape flip. So if you add that all together, do all the magic math, uh, you get the correct link, which is four. So go to the fourth link from the top and that'll take you to step seven. Yep, and all the rest of those are just the same dead end links from uh, the... Correct. So once again, if you haven't clicked those already, go ahead and sort through them. There's some interesting stuff in there. 
All right, so this uh, next video is just kind of a panoramic view of a city. It looks like you're kind of like flying alongside. It's really neat looking. But as it's doing that, there's like this blinking almost where the camera uh, picture keeps going dark over and over. Uh, it's kind of annoying actually. But the uh, secret for this video is every time the uh, picture flashes, uh, part of a link either appears or disappears from the screen. First, it'll the screen will flash and part of a link will appear on the screen. It'll normally be color coded to make it a little harder to see. Semi transparent. And then the next time it flashes, it's going to go away. So sometimes, normally when it flashes really quickly twice in a row, it'll be like flash, flash. The link was probably in between those two. So you got to pause it, look really closely, um, and I'll have up on the screen all the different pieces together. They make it into this link that's going to be on the screen right now, um, and you just have to piece it all together. Number eight. This one is tricky, especially if you have difficulty seeing because it's basically just a bunch of random characters and then you gotta kind of read out. It basically says it's a word search and you have to try to find the link and it kind of tells you what it starts with. So on the screen, I'll have circled the correct link. Go to the one that's circled, pretty simple, um, but tricky. All right, so this clue, clue number nine, takes a little more explaining. So all that this one is, is the uh, kind of carnival-y blooper music that we play anytime there's a bloopers and also during the Cut and Floor video. Uh, this is definitely one of the hardest clues because what you have to do is actually go back and watch the Cut and Floor video uh, because in that, in one of the scenes, we filmed a thing with Jimbo Quat. There was a quickly a channel link uh, to a YouTube page. From there, you then had to go to Jimbo's channel and go to his playlists where he had hidden videos. Then you had to click on the right one that was referenced in the other video, and that would give you your next clue. So it was kind of convoluted, and we actually went to a lot of work to make this clue. We weren't originally gonna do the cutting room floor video necessarily, but we then went and filmed Jimbo interviewing Luke four or five months after the original video. We yeah. got all the same clothes. We tried to recreate it as much as we could. I think we did a pretty good job. That's honestly one of the harder ones. So everybody that made it past this point, excellent job to you because this one is really tough. All right, so clue number 10 doesn't actually, isn't called clue number 10. It's called uh, Chicken Guacamole Hat Theft. It's under one of Jimbo's videos. Um, in the little bio page, it does say it's clue 10 though. In that, it's Jimbo uh, and he says that someone has stolen his favorite hat. Uh, and then you should go look at the mini basketball trick shot video found on the YouTube. If you go back to our first video, our mini basketball trick shot video, there's one scene where Luke's, uh, he's using a spike ball and he's hitting it and he's wearing the hat that the Jimbo normally wears. If you go to the top right of the video, there's like a little information card thing that you can go into. If you click on that, it'll take you to the video. Uh, from there, it takes you to Clue 11, one of my personal favorites. Uh, clue 11 is an entire song that we wrote, um, and all the lyrics are backwards. Now, we don't say them backwards, they're real words, but we say them in reverse order, so it sounds like we're talking complete gibberish. The gym over you to camping vegan be never. People confused to just this part next to ignore just. It's like a three minute song, so the, the way you actually have to solve it is you have to listen to the whole song and write down all the words and then write them all down in reverse order. And basically it says, go to the Perry and the Lunatics video description, which is a really obscure thing that we did a long time ago. If you don't know about Perry and the Lunatics, that's very understandable. It's linked in our Black Hat Brothers channel. If you go down to the bottom, you'll see Pairing the Lunatics. They only have one video up. If you click on that video, go into the video description, um, it has the link in that. So that's, it's pretty clear once you figure out that you need to reverse all the words. Also, that entire video description uh, is really good. You should go read it. It's very, uh, very interesting. But in it, it references something called chicken paint, which once again, if you go back to our first video on the table where Caleb is sitting, there is some paint uh, that is labeled chicken paint. So that's just an Easter egg for you if you want to go back and look at that. Uh, clue number 12, which is again one that uh, I know tripped up one person in particular for a long time. Uh, but the way this one works is it is exactly the same as one of the other dead ends. Uh, in that dead end, it's all three of us just standing at a pool table awkwardly for about 45 seconds. And we just say that it's a fail. Except in the real one, it is called dead end 12. Because it's clue 12. It's right. it's some show you that something a little bit fishy is going on because there is no dead end 12. So you click on it, it's supposed to be clue 12, it's dead end 12. You watch like 45 seconds into it, and then instead of it just ending, uh, we uh, a link goes up on the screen which takes you to the next. All right. Another lesson in patience. But for those of you that solved it, excellent job. 
All right, clue 13, and you're probably wondering, how in the world are there 13 parts to this clue? Well, you're getting pretty close to the end, but some of these last ones are really tricky. So clue 13 is basically us sitting at a ping pong table, and we explain there's a bunch of QR codes flashing on the screen the whole time that take you to some really crazy places. Um, I would recommend watching that video and actually clicking on all the QR codes, not just the one that's actually correct, because there's some pretty funny stuff that we put in there. Um, I won't spoil too many of those, but the correct QR code, um, you can can go through and scan them all and it takes quite a while or if you uh, in the middle of that video Caleb puts a can of beans on the table now you probably remember there were two other times when beans were referenced in this entire riddle one of them was at the very beginning and I just put beans on a table just like he did um, and the other time is in the wager wars comment chain I said beans like a ridiculous amount of times in the comments and right in the middle of that instead of saying beans I say my our favorite number is eight just randomly, and then I say, yeah, that's probably important later, or something to that effect. So, beans is to trigger you to hopefully remember that. If you remember that our favorite number is eight, um, that if you go to the eighth QR code in order, that is the correct one. All right, now we're on to clue 14, which is uh, an interesting one. So it's about five minutes of just B-roll footage uh, from the blindfolded trick shot. Luke and Ben are outside throwing a football, they're both blindfolded. Um, there's only two things that are weird with it. Once you get about three minutes in, the screen kind of goes yellow and a big link appears on the screen. Uh, however, if you go to that link, it's just a rickroll. About 30 seconds before that appears on the screen over audio, the video is the same, but over audio there's a voiceover by Ben telling you not to click on that link and to instead go to a different link which he then reads over audio. YouTube.com slash watch question mark V. Uh, so you can follow that link, that'll take you to Clue 15. That's just so people actually have to watch the video instead of just scanning along the scroll bar to see if anything weird happens. Right, if you just try to click along the bottom, it flashes up, you see yellow, you're like, oh great, I'm gonna go to this link. But for the people that were actually dedicated, watch the entire five minute thing, they get rewarded. Yes, exactly. All right, clue number 15. This is a really tough one, kind of. It confused a lot of people. So basically all it is, it's five snippets from old videos with no explanation five snippets from old videos, and then a closing from, I believe it's Cheese Ball Edition. So really six snippets from old videos, but one of them is just the outro from it. Um, and it's pretty confusing, because it's like, what am I supposed to do? All, all you're doing is seeing snippets from old videos. If you go in the description, it says, if you'd like to enter our Hidden Perry contest, which it also talks about this at the in outro, just like we always do. Um, if you'd like to participate in our Hidden Perry contest, go to blackcatbrothersgmail.com, send us the location of all five Perrys. So what you have to do is find the hidden parry in all of those different scenes and actually send them to us over email. We only had one person successfully get through this step, that was the messenger, but this isn't the last step. Once you send us all the locations over email, we respond to you and say, okay, thanks, before I can send you the final clue, what's the password? One last time, in the very first video, there is a scene in which Luke is standing at a door and he has a name tag that says, Hello, my name is Clue 16, which is the one you haven't gotten to yet. Um, and he asked me in the scene, what's the password? And I lean down and say, that's later. Now, in the original video, you think I'm just telling him we haven't gotten to Clue 16 yet, but the actual password you have to give to us is that's later. Once you send us back the password, that's later, we send you the link to the final clue, Clue 16. Yep, so the final clue is about five seconds long, maybe, and it just uh, sounds like parcel tongue, which is just gibberish over a completely black background. Yeah, I'll, I'll play it right here. Right. Uh, some of you might already know what's up with that, but in case you don't, if you don't recognize the sound, in the description, all it says is turn me on, dead man. If you Google that, you know that that's a reference to a Beatles song, but pretty much what it's telling you to do is you need to back mask it, uh, which means you get audio reversing. So if you reverse that audio, then it will be Ben saying Navajo caption, which is him mispronouncing uh, the words Navajo captions. Uh, so if you go into the closed captioning, there'll be like a dozen different options. Click on Navajo, and at the bottom, uh, at the, in the captions, will be a YouTube uh, URL. Click on that, and that'll take you to the finality, success, victory. In our final congratulations video, uh, it's a pretty cool place because in the comments, you know, anybody that's made it there gets to comment down below. You can, 
you know, reply to the people that actually, the guy that actually won it commented some down below. Um, and you get to find out the big announcement that we talked about in the first clue, which I'm not gonna give you here. You actually have to go solve it if you wanna find it out. We literally just gave you all the answers, so you don't really have an excuse now. All right, well, we really hope you enjoyed this video, but especially we hope you enjoyed uh, the whole riddle series. If you are the messenger, the person that solved this entire thing, um, and you're watching this video, if you'll leave a comment down below, we'll pin it up top so everyone can congratulate you because you put in a lot of work. Um, if anybody else commented on it, let us know down in the comments how far you got, um, what you thought was your favorite one. And uh, your least favorite, it was probably the ones where you had to put the words backward in the song. Yeah. I know that one was very unpopular. Yeah, other than that, we just really hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll see you in our next one coming out soon. Badoop.